Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 4th of January. Uh, I want to combine the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and the Black Box Breakout Indicator here. Uh, and this is a Think or Swim black platform. Both indicator suites are available for Ninja Trader NT8 as well. Um, we currently have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for TradeStation and Multicharts, and the Black Box Breakout Indicator is in development for TradeStation. So, first of all, this is PSTG on the hourly time frame. You can see on this intraday chart, we have got a bearish trend. We can see the indicator suite here. This is the think or swim version. We've got the C wave right at the top there. And then our indicator suite is labeled the one, the two, the three, and the wave four is the most important thing we've got right now here. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. The wave four has pulled back and found resistance in our red pullback zone. So this is a 75% probability it's gonna go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zones down here, around about $13 at the bottom end there. Then we have um, our move down yesterday. It's gap down yesterday and close near the low. So this is potentially a good fifth wave move all the way down to here. So there's two plays here using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and that swing trading strategy. Uh, we've got a more conservative entry. So if we go quite big on here uh, so we can zoom in and have a look. So what we're looking for here is always when we're trading the fifth wave, we look for a stop loss above the wave four here. So around about 1651. And then the entry, we usually go, we've got to make sure we're below our EMA cloud, which is part of our um, breakout indicator suite, but also above the 6.4 moving average low, which we already are. So we need to be going just below the low of yesterday. So also, we've also got a signal for our breakout indicator this bubble here for 15.35751 the 15.68885 so this is our stop loss and entry for um for our breakout but i just want to concentrate on this this longer term swing if you like that we're going to have to probably swing to, towards the end of next week if we get that far so what we're going to do is look for a, an entry at that same price at 1535 with a stop loss here at 1651 and then the target around about $13. So there's a one to two risk to reward. But again, this could trigger quite quickly today. Uh, so you've got that conservative stop loss there and entry with um, the good risk to reward. And you're going to expect to carry that over the weekend unless it really goes hell for leather today but I very much doubt it with it being a Friday uh, and that gives you the option to then to carry it over if it triggers today because it closed near the low the likelihood is it could trigger pretty quickly today um, and then obviously you will carry it over to next week the alternative and more aggressive strategy is our breakout so this is from our black box breakout let's zoom right in here Okay, remember the overall trend is bearish and we can see that on our MTF dot cloud, part of the black box breakout indicator here. We can see our key, uh, this is the hourly time frame. My key uh, time frame down here is the two day time frame. And then we've got daily, okay. Uh, we've got four hour, two hour, and then the one hour. So we're all red, we're all bearish, so we're good. We got in the second to last hour yesterday, we got the first red candle. The, all the others are blue here, uh, which did and grey, which denote low volume. But then towards the end of the session yesterday, we got increased volume on this candle. It turns red, part of the indicator suite. And then the next candle was red as well. So we got an even more uh, volume on that. So good distribution candles there on volume. Price action's good, close near the low. And then our black box breakout indicator gives us our signal line on the green there at 15.35 in the bubble and the stop loss. So this is an aggressive entry. And this may be, because it's a Friday, you want to get in and out and not carry it over the weekend. So potentially the range of the days there look pretty good. So we could actually go for um, an entry is again at 15.35, a very tight stop for our black box breakout indicator at 15.69. But then as you see our risk to reward ramps up really, really quickly here because we've got this tight stop and entry. 
and to be honest the range of the day there could get us to the 1490 or 15 dollars is a one-to-one -one, nice quick breakout trade and if the momentum looks pretty good towards the end of the day and you're closing near the lows carry it over the weekend switch to your longer term target down here on the fifth wave move so a couple of options there by combining both of our indicator suites uh, feeling confident that we've got that bearish uh, direction in this particular stock which is PSTG uh, and looking at some a more conservative entry for that fifth wave move or more aggressive using our breakout indicator there okay so that's it for today have a great trading day a great weekend speak to you all next week